Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lachlan and this video is going to be a little bit different than my other videos. Basically I have this room in my home that's technically a guest bedroom but I feel like limiting it to just being a guest bedroom is kind of a waste of space so I do utilize this space. I'm in this room a lot. It's been a year since we bought this house and I've just been itching to decorate it. I call it my reading room and I had a really really fun time decorating it and I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do don't forget to like subscribe and comment below if you would like to see more of this kind of content or if you'd like kind of like an in-depth tour or something like that I would be happy be to do that so yeah just let me know so without further ado let's get started okay so this room is quite a mess right now this is actually where my bed was um, if you watch my vlogs you'll see like that welcome sign and then this random butterfly print uh, <laughs> but yeah so I moved the bed over in that corner and I'm gonna push it back against the wall it actually has been there before but I ended up moving it these are puppy pads if you're wondering those are what um, I keep my dogs in here when we um, go to work. Yeah, so I'm also going to move these boxes out of here. So in one of these boxes are my living dead dolls. And I think I'm going to, I'm not gonna take them out of the box just yet, but I am ordering like something to put them in because I'm really, really itching to take them out of that box. This is the dresser situation and I do have storage in here. So I have like stuff for my book pictures on my bookstagram. If you follow me on there, that's where I keep most of my um, miscellaneous uh, flat lay items for all of my, for my book photos. And then up here we just have, I have wait, I have too many Harry Potter copies, okay, so I just put those there. Um, and then also I end up putting my uh, current reads of the month. <laughs> those are books that I've finished this month. Um, but I ended up putting them on this dresser just because I, this is my reading room and yeah, so currently this room is just not decorated. Um, that is, that's definitely not like how it's going to stay. I put those things on the wall to get them out of the way and I don't like that, but it's going to end up probably becoming like a, um, collage wall. So this is the bed. This is like an extra nightstand. It was actually a desk turned into a nightstand. Um, it just has some random stuff on there. It's got my stitch, some a shadow hunter bag for my friend. And yeah, I'm really excited to finish decorating this room. Some skull artwork here. Anyway, so this is the before. Okay, so basically what I've done is just laid out a bunch of shit on my floor. It's gonna end up probably mostly being bookish prints. I'm gonna make a collage wall. Let's we'll just see how it goes. I don't plan on finishing tonight. I mean, it's six o'clock and I got home from work not that long ago and I haven't had dinner. So I'm not gonna keep this up for that much longer. My goal is to finish by the weekend and today is Tuesday. Let's keep going current state of what I have on the floor. There's a ton of art prints in there.
Okay, so the room just feels very chaotic right now, and I'm overwhelmed. As usual with gallery walls, I get pretty overwhelmed. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll just show you guys the progress. So I'll show you guys the gallery wall, like as it is right now on the floor, but it's definitely not the final result. Um, I don't like it, but I'll just show you kind of like my process of where I'm headed, um, as well as what the room looks like right now. It's still a mess, but. And I do apologize, the lighting is not really that great because the sun is going down and this lamp is not great, but basically, um, my dog beds are right here. This is still atrocious. I'm going to fix all of that. Um, that box is still in here. <laughs> uh, the bed is still a mess. I moved that side table next to the bed. Um, that's the box with all my dolls in it. So they're staying there until I get a bookshelf or like a display case. Ikea is 100% out of display cases right now. Is very depressing. They have been out of the glass display cases for like, oh gosh, here I am in the mirror. Um, hello. They've been out of the display cases for quite some time and sorry, you're like talking to my stomach right now, but um, okay. Anyway, I'm going to get something to put them in and then that'll move. But here is the progress on the gallery wall. This is definitely not, um, the end result at all <laughs> but I just have a lot of art prints and I've had very many ideas about what I could do with them like I could just have it all art prints or mix it up but anyway I know this looks bad so but you know it's just something to get like my creative juices flowing mm -hmm. everyone so it has been like a week since I worked on my reading room and I've just I got an Amazon package which is basically these little uh, storage box shelf things that I'm going to put my dolls in slash on like I don't know it's kind of they're like uh, little storage boxes so I'm going to ask assistance from my wonderful, uh, sweet, kind, beautiful, loving husband to help me put them together. So this will be, this will be fun. Okay, so we finished putting them together. My husband did most of the work. But I'll show you what it looks like. Hello guys. So today is the day that I have been waiting for for over a year. We bought this house a year ago and my living dead dolls have been in their box for over a year now and i'm going to finally unbox them and put them away i'm not going to go through each one individually i think i'm going to do a separate video on them just because i love them so much i know it's not book related but yeah i'll probably just do a separate video um, and I'll show you guys the time lapse of me like unboxing them and everything like that. So let's get started.
Okay, so this is not how I'm going to leave them, obviously, but so I'm going to clear off the top of this dresser and then put some of them on there. So I'll do that right now. boxes than I really want so I'm going to end up taking a few of them out of their coffins but this is kind of what I have ended up with just because the dolls are not staying up and I need their coffins behind them like holding them up if that makes sense this like display thing that I got is not very good quality um it's like a very cheap it's actually like a storage case and I, don't, I just don't like how that looks. There's too many dolls up there. So I'm going to take a few other boxes um, and end up putting them in here so they'll fit. And yeah, my goal today is to decorate that space. Um, right now there's dog food and like, I don't know, the room is still a mess. So yeah, the bed is also a mess. Um, but my goal today is just to finished decorating for the most part. So yeah, I have a lot of work to do. Okay, so I want to show you guys the progress because I'm really loving it. Um, I'll probably change it up a little bit, but what I have left to do is hang a bunch of stuff up and make the bed. Anyway, here is what I have so far. This is what I have so far. It's very cluttered, but that's kind of how I like it. I think it's cute like that. Um, so now I'm just going to hang a bunch of stuff up here. Um, I'm going to take that stuff down. Well, I'll leave up the welcome sign because technically this is a guest bedroom. Plus, I, I think it'd be really cute to put like the welcome sign right here above this. It looks like an altar almost. Um, anyway, so yeah, there's my progress. Okay, so I hung a few things up and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I hung up these little bat things above the window. I just think it's, it's turning out to be so cute. Okay, so now I have these curtain string lights that I ordered from Amazon. And I'm just going to undo them and I don't know where I'm going to put them yet, but we'll figure it out. I ended up moving the curtain fairy lights over above the bed. I'll show you in a second. But I just got book mail, so I thought I'd show you. So I got The Dare by Harley LaRue. I read um, Her Soul Take, and I really liked it. So this is like a fun, thin book. I think I'll read it for Vampathon. And then I have another package. Okay. And this is, ooh, yes, Broken Bonds. So, oh my god, it smells so good. Okay, ignore me. So excited to read this. Also, I love how Andy Books put the print date because look at this. October 1st, 2021. That's just like the perfect print date for this book. Anyway, I am going to continue decorating. Um, I'm really hungry, so I'm going to take a lunch break. I'll show you guys my process of hanging up my bookish art. I'm saving that for last because I'm just so excited to hang those up, like uh, thrilled. So, okay, I'm gonna go eat some lunch and then I'll come back and hang those prints up with you guys and then I'll show you the whole room, what it looks like. I'm so excited. Okay, so I just had spaghetti, so I probably have spaghetti all over my face, so if I do, just ignore it. But um, 
I am gonna hang up my bookish prints now and I'll have the camera set up so you guys can see. I'm gonna be watching Vampire Diaries on my phone because I'm too lazy to bring my laptop up here. So let's do it. Coffee is our friend. It's the caffeine. It circulates through our veins and it warms our body so we're not so cold to the touch. Stefan knows what's up. Okay, so quick update. Um, I was getting really annoyed because this shit does not work. Amazon, it said on Amazon that um, like this would hold on painted walls and it literally doesn't. They keep falling down. So my husband has this super strong double-sided tape and I'm now I'm using this. This is like heavy duty scotch double-sided tape. As long as they freaking hold up, like, that's all that I want because I was putting them up and then they kept falling. Putting it up, they would fall. And I'm like, so hopefully this will work. I'm going to start using this now. Okay, so I'm really happy with how it's turning out. Um, since I do have more prints coming in the mail, I'm not going to put up all of the prints. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it like this right now, even though it's like, looks a little wonky over there. Um, because once I get more prints in, I'll probably switch it up just a little bit, but I do have, these are not from A Touch of Magic Designs. These are from Flicker Wicks. And they're more like, photo print and they are like cardstock but they're still really pretty and I definitely want to hang these up. Karen, I love me some Karen. And then this one. So I do have quite a bit more prints um, that I haven't hung up but these are not the same well these are the same size but like um I don't know, I'm just gonna wait. These are not the same size prints, so these will I'll probably put like above the headboard um, or something because I just want them all to be the same size. Holy cow, it feels like it's like 5 p.m. but it's two o'clock. I've been like decorating since, I don't even know, like 10 a.m., 9 a.m. I started as soon as I got up, so yeah, it's been hours. And now, right now, I'm going to wrap these little fairy light things around the headboard because, well, I don't know, maybe not. But yeah, so I'll just show you like the, that, the last finishing touches that I'm going to make on the room and then I'll wrap this up. I'm really, really excited. So now I'm gonna do some cleanup and then do the last finishing touches, so. Let's do it. Tree, I finally realized death means nothing without you. Do it. Oh. Why are you so mean to me? Uh, have you met you? You're not a nice person. Well, because I'm a vampire. But you're only the bad part. Teach me to be good. It's true. I'm 
to a witch. Hands down, one of my favorite scenes on the Vampire Diaries. I love that scene so much. So I've just finished the room and let me give you a quick little tour.